Summerlicious is back, marking the 16th year for the program. But did you know the summertime staple has a little bit of a dark history? Its maiden year in 2003 was when SARS was gripping the city. Fear was rampant and many restaurants needed to give diners an extra incentive to eat out. This is our first, uh, our first season. Giancarlo Catalano of El Ponte Restaurant gets right to the point when talking about why his Italian eatery hotspot is finally jumping on board of Summerlicious. For me, this past January was a quieter period for us. So I decided to partake in Summerlicious and we're excited. Excited for the powerful boost Summerlicious can bring to restaurants eager to fill seats and customer stomachs. And Catalano has seen its influence firsthand. How it works is restaurants sign on to the program and offer smaller menus at fixed prices that are often at a discount. Just months after the program first started, the first Canadian case of SARS was confirmed in Toronto. By that summer, Canada's death toll hit 39, and Toronto's economy, along with its restaurants, took a major hit. It was very difficult. It was very difficult. Restaurants were closing. Business was uh, almost, uh, it was diminishing. And there was no money for the proprietors and for us that were working in it for the five bucks that they were used to make. And then came Summerlicious. And then came Summerlicious, and it was a great program. It brought flocks of people to their business. At the time when Customers. no one was going out? Nobody, everybody was afraid. The city began working on Summerlicious's cold predecessor, Winterlicious, back in 2002, not knowing the health crisis that was lurking overseas. The program started the following January, and SARS came one month later. The first Summerlicious edition in, the, uh, in July of 2003 actually helped quite a bit with economic uh, activity and development for the uh, city, especially in those hard times. Fast forward to 2018, and 200 Toronto restaurants are now on board. An estimated 7 million meals have been served, and it's generated more than $311 million in economic activity for the local restaurants. There, from the beginning, Councillor Michael Thompson. You know, we've come a long way, but what we also saw, though, was that resiliency uh, sort of came into play because resilient people, um, city leadership, uh, along with the restaurant uh, industry and so on, came together and decided that they wanted to do something that would be long-lasting. And uh, that something was essentially to create the delicious program. We're excited. We have a wonderful menu that we created for Summerlicious. Day one, and Summerlicious is already pointing the way to a successful season for Catalano. Tonight we have 59, and we're very excited to showcase our kitchen, our service, and our beautiful restaurant. And Summerlicious runs from now until July 22nd.